Is this emotional for you at all to do this, knowing that we're just days away from that last show? It's very emotional. There's no, um, there's no denying it. It's a very, very strange feeling to, to, to be so close to the end of such a moment, you know. Um, and it's weird, you know, something like tonight. Like it's such a wonderful thing that the Paley Fest said that they would honour us. But for so long, it's felt like it was a long way away. Mm -hmm. And then now it's here, I'm like, oh man, we have, we have 12 shows to go, and then that'll be it. It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. It hasn't set in, has it? I don't think it will until we've done it, really, mm -hmm. because we still are, we're, really, we're probably working harder now as a team than we have in a long time, mm -hmm. because we have so many things that we're looking to do, and so many things that we want to, um, to do for our last few shows, some, some really big swings we're going to take. Like a show bucket list almost, that things that you want to check off and make sure that you get done before the end? It's not really a bucket list, it's just what's the most fun thing we could do okay. to, before we sail off into the sunset. I'm like, are you going to tell me? Is he going to tell me? Well, you know how to get people excited because the pictures got released of you and Tom Cruise together oh, yeah. in costume. Everyone's excited. Like, what are we going to oh, get? Mad. That's mad. Because I was going to ask you, was, were you going to do some crazy stunt mm. again? But then you went ahead and surprised us all, and I have no idea what we're getting. Well, you'll have to wait and see, but it's kind of, I mean, look, it would, we, we, it would be really hard to top in terms of like danger and stunts, the stuff that we've done before. You know, we've jumped out of an airplane together. He's flown me upside down in fighter jets and stuff. And so really I thought, well, why don't you come and mix in my world for a minute? And arguably we were more scared doing what we did for, that'll be on our last show and it's, uh, it's great. And then, uh, yeah, it's really, it's, it's so ridiculous what we do. It's so ridiculous. I sort of, when we were doing it, couldn't believe what we were doing. Um, and then we have, we have three three carpools between now and then, and the last one is um, it's going to be very very emotional, and we have a last big crosswalk the musical. We I spent a day as the Kardashians assistant, um, which I think will be fun. Uh, yeah, we have, we have some big stuff coming. It's going to be a real. We're going to try and go out in the manner that we came in, you know? With with what you're doing with Tom Cruise, did it take convincing to get him to dress in, was it Pumbaa that I saw him dress as? Did it take a lot of convincing? Did you have to twist his arm a bit? Or was it like, he's like, I'm just down for whatever. It's your last show. The amazing thing is that uh, Tom was adamant that we would do one more bit before the show came off the air. He was adamant that we would do that. Um, he just, he just wouldn't, he just wouldn't, uh, he just said we have to do it. I mean, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a movie to promote till the summer. Mm -hmm. He was literally doing it because I think he's just had such a great time. He's just had such a great time with all the stuff that we've, that we've done on the show before. So, yeah. I was going to say that's a testament to you and to your show and what you've built over these years that he's willing to do that. I mean, it's Tom Cruise for goodness sake. I guess, I mean, it's madness. It's, it's madness. It's, it's, it's all you. ridiculous. It's all ridiculous. Now you mentioned the Kardashian being a Kardashian's assistant, yes. but because of the pictures that we saw, are they doing carpool karaoke? Because no, that's they don't do carpool. Oh, but I, in okay. that, in those pictures that you saw, that's just I was, uh, I was Kim's assistant at that point. <laughs> so I was just driving her to uh, pick up some some things that she needed. Okay. But she let me drive her Rolls Royce. <laughs> Which, I would have been terrified for that. Yeah, no, I would. Have, I was. I was more than ready to just take it home. It was <laughs> of course, crazy. Yeah. Of course, um, you've interviewed so many great people over the years, and more to come that we'll see leading up to these final shows. Is there someone that got away that you never got on the show that you really wanted to have? Oh, there's loads. You know, there's been loads of people that we've that we've that we've felt that we were going to get close to them, and and you know, there's yeah, loads of loads of people. Bruce Springsteen, Paul Simon. Uh, the Rolling Stones, Beyonce, you know, we, some people we got, some people if you, you wouldn't believe how close we almost got to doing it. Yeah. Well, you've had great guests. When it's all done and you wake up that next day, what's the first thing you're going to do? 
Well, I imagine I'll be quite hungover, so um, <laughs> that's my hunch. So I think I'll be looking for some kind of bacon product. Uh, no, look, it's going to take a while for me to um, take in what we've done. It's it's going to it's going to take a while to uh, to take in what we've done and, and look back on it and and see. I don't know. I'm just, I'll just I'll always just be so proud of it. I really will. What will you miss the most about the show and America? Oh man. Well, the show I'll miss my friends who I love and I'll just I'll miss I'll miss them so much and I'll miss doing it and I'll miss the relationship that we've built with the audience has been incredible. Um and America. Oh man. Well, I'm I've no intent, my heart, there will always be a massive part of my heart and mind and body being here in this country. It's an amazing place. It's been so great to me and I, I love it. I love it. I love the optimism of the place. I love the notion that a chubby boy from High Wycombe can come here and be accepted in such a way. It's, uh, it's the most incredible creative place and I uh, I hope it's not done with me.